Hello everyone, this is a quick update on uh, some of the news items flashing in the media. So we wanted to have a quick update and we will go into details of US as we are tracking US mainnet launch. Uh, so you will read some stories in the media today, potentially US mainnet launch delay. There may be like you know, this bug which they are talking about. Then uh, this is this has been called epic security loophole. Uh, and a lot of uh, noise is being created. Uh, I'm sorry for clicking that. All right, so a lot of noise is being created uh, on EOS. And uh, so what I, I wanted to give a quick, quick update what is happening. So yes, there has been a bug identified. And as I have been telling you and preparing you for minute launch, this is a software launch. And uh, I have been uh, looking at so many software launches. My personally, I have been involved in software industry for a very long time. It is very common. Uh, so if you go to the uh, the summary of uh, Telegram page recently, I was uh, browsing through that and uh, this is a very good summary on Steamit. But uh, uh, Dan Larimer himself came out, he offered a bug bounty. Uh, he's giving $10,000 for every qualifying bug. Um, and uh, this uh, security company, they came out, this uh, group uh, they're talking about in China, uh, the Kihu 360, they came out and they declared this bug. And uh, yes, it is uh, uh, already identified, fixed, and we are not too worried about it. But uh, it, it, you should always be prepared for a few bugs here and there. Um, Dan Larimer has said in Telegram that they will delay uh, the launch if they really find any critical bug. But he also mentioned that he's very confident that uh, nothing is uh, blocking them from releasing. They have been running um, this whole uh, nodes for very long time in testnet and uh, they're comfortable. So I think it's a good time. Uh, maybe they should have done the bug bounty earlier, but I would say uh, it's still have moving fast. There may be some hiccups, but overall, we don't believe that uh, this is something you should panic. This, If the price is going down because of this, uh, let's have a quick look if uh, where the EOS is uh, uh, on the coin market cap. And uh, if EOS is going down because of this, I would say this is uh, not a valid concern. It will recover. I, in, in fact, as compared to the news it's may being made out, it's not really falling too much. It's only uh, like a couple of percent point. Uh, it has outperformed as we discussed in previous uh, videos. It has outperformed in recent few days uh, versus Ethereum especially. So today Ethereum is recovering. Uh, so it's, um, it's a can be a natural uh, thing to go down a little bit. And uh, we are not short-term traders as we talk about EOS. We are fundamentally interested in this uh, as the best project. So I would say use this as a last buying opportunity. We will do another video on some of the things to take care of before minute launch. So do watch out for that. So this was a very quick update. Uh, again, you will keep reading about this. Usually media channels pick up these news very late uh, after everything has happened. But what I can say is uh, based on the history of Dan Larimer and the kind of team he has built, uh, we are not too concerned that uh, any security flaws which are found earlier before the minute launch is actually a good news versus uh, finding this uh, after the launch when it's already deployed and when everybody is already starting to use the network. Um, then it will be even more difficult to release uh, fixes as, that, as that's what uh, Dan Larimer is suggesting and uh, he's happy that uh, more and more people are coming up uh, with these bugs. So thanks for joining. Subscribe to our channel. We will do a lot more videos uh, in the near future as the, the main net launch is coming close for EOS. And also based on your feedback, we are trying to put together more material for other uh, coins we are tracking in our group. Uh, but do join us on Facebook if you're interested in those. Uh, but for the YouTube channel, we will keep working on more content. Uh, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.